All right, well, I'm going to go talk to those ghouls and see what I can do to get them into Tenpenny Tower. I'll hear out their side of the story. I don't see how it could possibly be any worse than the people in Tenpenny Tower. I think I should wear that ghoul mask that Vonda gave me. I think it'll make the ferals not hostile towards me, and if that's what it takes to get on the ghoul's good side, then I should do it. <laughs> Huh, wonder what this place is. Looks like another power station. Oh, it is trashed in here. I think some raiders must have been partying in here. of skeletons up here. It looks like they were fighting. Oh, look! The feral ghouls! They haven't even noticed me. I think they'll leave me alone. Sniper rifle. Huh. Oh, look! One of the gnomes. Yeah, looks like the ghouls are leaving me alone. Alright, if I'm gonna get past these fair ghouls, I'm gonna have to act like one of them and be all sneaky. to do a little walk. Okay, I got past them. That was fun. Hello? You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. Alright, alright. This mask is hard to breathe in. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. Didn't you see my mask? Uh, I'm just here to see Roy Phillips. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. Yeah, alright. So, what are you doing here in the metro tunnels? I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. 
He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. Ah, pre-war goal. So, what's it like being a ghoul? I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Something tells me you weren't the most ethical scientist. You know, Gustavo hired me to kill all of you guys. Figures. He's Tenpenny's adorable lapdog, isn't he? So what's your angle in all this? Relax, it's just a warning, not a threat. I'm not gonna kill you. That's awfully decent of you. Even if we already knew those bigoted bastards wanted us dead. Talk to Roy Phillips. You might be able to help us out. All right, sure. Good luck. Thanks. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. Oh, nice to meet you, Bessie. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone. But someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. It's fine. So what are you doing in these tunnels? Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. Oh, that's sweet. So tell me, what's it like being a ghoul? Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen... When you start to change, I mean. I'm sorry. You know, Gustavo hired me to kill you ghouls. Please don't hurt me! Relax, it's just a warning, not a threat. I'm not gonna kill you. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I just assumed. Well, most people would prefer if we ghouls didn't exist. If you want to help us, talk to Roy Phillips. For what it's worth, I don't think it's most people. It's just a loud minority. Bye. Oh, okay then. Have a nice one. Mm-hmm. You too. Oh, hi. What do you want? Hey, Roy. So... What are you guys doing here in the tunnels? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Well, I might be able to get you in there. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see, there's some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Look, let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe he wouldn't mind you living there. Ha! Huh. Those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means... Try talking to Tenpenny if you like, but it won't work. 
Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. Well, I appreciate you at least being willing to let me try a peaceful option first. So, can we talk about Tenpenny? What about it? I think I can convince them to let you live there. You think so, do you? Give it a shot, kid. But you're dreaming. I'll wait to give you a shot, but then we're doing it my way. Alright, thanks for giving me a shot. Gustavo actually hired me to kill you guys. Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself. Sends a girl to do his dirty work. Think you got what it takes? Ugh, that's kind of sexist, but... Relax, it's just a warning, not a threat. I'm not gonna kill you. I see. That's smart of you. I'd lay you flat if you tried anything stupid. So don't. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. They can't keep us out of that tower forever. So what's it like being a ghoul? You better choose your next words really carefully, cause you're starting to piss me off. I didn't mean to offend, I was just curious about the ghoul experience. Sure, whatever you say, you pretentious two-faced asshole. No, really, I mean it. I was just curious about your condition. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul ain't anything worse than any other thing somebody's got to deal with. Like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born stupid, or dropped on your head as a kid. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So you deal with it. Well, I'm sorry if my question was rude and insensitive. Could you tell me about those feral ghouls in the metro tunnels? So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. Alright, bye. Hurry up. Those bigots got big comeuppance waiting for them. I mean to give it to them soon. Now get! Yeah, yeah, alright. Quantum. Nice. I know it seems like Roy wants to kill the people in Tenpenny Tower, but honestly, I would want to kill some bigots myself, so I don't blame him. And at least he's willing to give me a chance to solve this peacefully. Because as much as I hate bigots, if I can solve this peacefully, that's obviously going to be the better outcome. Alright, well, I'm going to head back to Tenpenny Tower, see if I can talk Mr. Tenpenny into letting the ghouls live there. And I gotta confront Dashwood, too. Alright, I'm out of the station. Oh wait, what are those buildings? I should check them out after I'm done dealing with this. Hey, let me in. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. I'll do whatever I want with my panties. I'm definitely not going to drop them for you. Uh, hey, Gustavo. You take care of those ghouls yet? What can you tell me about the basement of Tenpenny Tower? You mean the generator room? What the hell do you need to know about that for? That area is strictly off limits. Touchy subject, huh? What's the matter? Hiding some kind of big secret? There's no secret. 
It's just a sensitive area we don't need idiots and assholes screwing around in. There's an emergency entrance to the tunnels, you know, for when the bombs fell. We siphon power from the metro grid to keep our generators running. But I've got better things to do than play tour guide, so unless there's some kind of emergency, this conversation's over. If I promise not to touch anything, will you let me in? I've got the only key, and I ain't lending it to you. I lost it once and had to make a new one. Tenpenny practically bit my head off, so forget it. You sure you won't tell me anything else? You stay away from the generator room. Yeah, fine. Look, I've met them. Roy Phillips and those other ghouls don't seem all that bad. Look, kid, I don't care what you think about them. Unless Tenpenny says otherwise, they aren't allowed in here. End of story. Quit wasting my time. Fine. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Hell no. Tenpenny won't allow it. And I take my orders from him. What if Tenpenny will let the ghouls live here? He'd be out of his goddamn mind. But like I said, ultimately I work for him, so whatever he says goes. But I wouldn't like it. Hmm. All right, bye. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first and ask questions later. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm going to have to talk to Tenpenny himself. All right, Tenpenny, you're going to let those ghouls in one way or another. Hey, Tenpenny. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Do you have to point that gun at me? <sighs> Fine, whatever. What can you tell me about the basement? What? That area is strictly off-limits. Can't have people fooling around with the terminal down there. They could shut off power and open the escape door. Hmm, so Roy's plan would work. Look, there are some ghouls who want to live here. What do you think about that? Why, I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? What if the residents are okay with ghoul neighbors? I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehaved. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Miss Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm, and I'd say I'm probably a good deal more proficient than you. I'm actually surprised you said it was okay, but of course you'd make them second-class citizens. Whatever. It'll still be better than the metro tunnels. Oh, I should have put some of these posters up. If anyone here would want to work at Lollipops, that'd be great. Tenpenny Tower has a strict no solicitation policy in the residential areas. Damn, maybe I'll try in the lobby. Alright, let me try here. The residents of Timpany Tower scoff at the idea of anyone leaving the comfort and safety of their luxurious fortress to entertain the common rabble, but you get the impression that many of them secretly long for a bit of naughty excitement. Several of the shopkeepers humor you by allowing help wanted posters to be pasted in their establishments. Anthony Ling in particular seems excited by the prospect of providing wardrobe for theatrical entertainers. Alright, that went over well. Uh, now I gotta convince them to stop being bigots, which will be much harder. Good to see you again, comrade! Oh hey, you changed your outfit. So, uh, do you know anything about the basement level, comrade? Only that they keep generators down there, and some kind of emergency escape tunnels. 
Oh, you know who you should talk to? Comrade Dashwood. He knows this place like the back of his hand. Right. So how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Ghouls wouldn't make the best of neighbors, comrade. I've met these ghouls. They seem friendly enough, more than this lot. Well, perhaps you're right, comrade. Some of these folk have a few things to learn about camaraderie, that's for sure. Well, all right. I'm willing to give them a chance. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? All right, comrade. We'll welcome them into the community. Thank you for your support. I'll see you later. Bye! Hello. Well, okay, he was always going to be easy. Hurry up. Let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. <sighs> oh, shut up, Anthony. So, do you know anything about the basement? I hear there are some tunnels underground for use in emergencies. Ask Gustavo. He's in charge of all those kinds of things. All right. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? You can't be serious. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. And you're a complete asshole and incredibly stupid if you think that's true. I've met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. Why would you hang out with dirty vermin like that? You enjoy sifting through feces. You know it's only a matter of time before they get hungry and eat you. You're crazy. Ghouls will never live in Tenpenny Tower. <sighs> what if all your other neighbors agree? If my neighbors lose their minds and agree to such a thing, then I hope security shoots them in the head with their zombie friends. Are you fucking kidding me? Bye. Ta-ta. <sighs> Great. I don't know how I'm going to convince him. Uh, hey, Michael. I know you. You're that girl. You know, the one that... whatever. I don't suppose you know anything about the basement and some tunnels? Tunnels in the basement? No, can't say that I do. Hold it. I do remember something about a bunch of escape tunnels in case of disaster or something. Or something about generators for power. You should talk to that old guy. You know, the famous one with the radio show about him. You know, what's his name? Daring. Daring Dashwood, that's him. He's explored this whole place from top to bottom. Ask him about those tunnels, he'd know. All right. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? You've heard the stories, I'm sure, about the mindless ones eating brains and the like. Well, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with all that. <sighs> I've met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. Really? Well, as long as they don't bother me, I guess I really don't care. All right. Good. Would you tell Mr. Tempenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? What the hell? Sure. Thank you for your support. Bye. Cheers! Ah, <sighs> that just goes to show you that a log of bigotry is just misinformation. Hey, Shakes. Care to wet your whistle? No, thanks. Uh, how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Don't have any data in my files about that. Oh, all right. Thanks anyway, Shakes. Hello. You have a good day. Hello! Hello, Chang. Sorry I keep missing your Neighborhood Watch committee Hi. meetings. Bye. Keep up the good work, though. No worries, comrade. Everyone else has trouble making the meetings, too. When I get my computer working, I'll get you a copy of the minutes. Nothing like a fine glass of bubble to hey. make Bye. all things right Bye. with the world, eh, Mrs. Chang? I hate that stupid man. What are you doing? <sighs> all right, who else do we need to talk to? Hi. See you later, you okay? alligator. Hello. Oh, hey, Margaret. New here? Pick any table except the one in the corner. That's Mr. Tenpenny's stable. Nobody sits there. 
Except him, of course. Welcome to Café Beaumont. Gourmet meals and service with a smile. Hmm. And a pretty smile it is. Very kind of you to say so. Thank you. So, uh, you ever go down to the basement? I haven't. But every so often, Gustavo takes someone down there to work on the generators when we lose power. That hasn't happened in a while, though. Hmm, all right. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I've heard they carry diseases. I'd have to sanitize everything after them all the time. Besides, they are dangerous, aren't they? All people carry diseases. Uh, what if they kept themselves clean and didn't bother anyone? I don't know, as long as they don't cause trouble. And they'd have to try to fit in with our established community. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. Ugh, you're saying they have to dress up. Fine, whatever. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind gold neighbors? I guess so, sure. All right, thanks for your support. Hey, why don't you tell me about Mr. Tenpenny? Every day, it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. That actually sounds delicious. Anyway, bye. Don't be a stranger to the cafe. Hello? I won't be. Hang out. Uh, hi, this Susan. Warm place. As usual. Make it quick, Missy. You ever been to the basement? I hear there's an escape tunnel. Yeah. Supposedly there's some kind of emergency access to the metro tunnels. It'd have to be a pretty big emergency to get me down there, that's for sure. There's all kinds of gross things that live in those tunnels. Talk to Chief Gustavo if you want to know more. I think he's the only one that has a key. Mm hmm. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I've come too far to share my digs with some droopy ghoul. I've met these ghouls. They aren't so bad. Well, if you don't mind their stink, then you should go squat with them in their dirty tunnels and leave us civilized people alone. <sighs> what if all your other neighbors agree? There's no way they'd agree to letting ghouls live here. We all came here to get away from things like ghouls and disease and all that ugliness. Eh, well, I'll show you. Bye. Sure. See ya. I hope See not you. everyone is going to be as bigoted as her. Are you okay? Hello? Oh, hi, Lydia. Back for the best? What can you tell me about the basement? What are you talking about? You mean the basement of Tenpenny Tower? What a random question. Why should I know anything about a basement? Why don't you run off and find Gustavo? I'm sure he could help you find whatever it is you're looking for. Okay, okay, jeez. Shopping at Le Chic proves you have great taste. Mm-hmm. So how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? You're being serious? That's out of the question. What an absurd notion. I've met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. I think you must have been out in the sun too long. Perhaps I could sell you a nice hat to keep your brain from frying? What if all your other neighbors agree? Then my neighbors will have lost their minds, just like you have. Now go away. <sighs> Bye. Charming. Oh, hey, Banfield. Welcome back to the wellness clinic. Uh, hey, Doc, what do you know about the basement area? There's those access tunnels that lead underground. Those are sealed by a door. Then there is some place down there where they keep the generators. Occasionally, something goes wrong down there and we lose power. Then Burke goes out and finds a technician. We haven't had any blackouts in a while. If you want to get into the gen room... You'll need to talk to Gustavo, though I doubt he'll take you on a tour or let you wander around down there. Burke, who's... I represent certain interests who view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. 
Oh, that Berg. Huh. So, how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I'm not sure. My first responsibility is the health and welfare of the residents of Tenpenny Tower. Ghouls often carry diseases due to radiation, damaging their immune systems. You don't know that. And I've met these ghouls. They seem healthy, all things considered. Well, if they don't mind me giving them a thorough exam, and if they agree to follow any directives I give them regarding health and hygiene, I suppose I wouldn't mind too terribly. It'd give me a chance to study ghoul physiology. They're only dirty because they're living in a metro tunnel, and they're only living there because you won't let them live here. <sighs> Would you tell Mr. Tempenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, what can you tell me about Mr. Tempenny? He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, if you know what I mean. Wait, don't tell him I said that. I won't say anything. Bye. Remember, just say no to drugs, unless I prescribe them. <laughs> sure. Sure, Doc. Sure. Oh, hey! Keep it short. I'm rather busy avoiding my husband. Right. Uh, do you know how I can get into the basement? Maybe try talking to Mr. Tenpenny or Chief Gustavo. They're probably the ones who would know. Uh, how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I don't know. I mean, they're all deformed and scary-looking. I bet they're really mean, too. I've met these ghouls. They seem friendly enough. Well, you seem like you know what you're talking about. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. I might not spend much time with them. And if they do anything stupid, I'm sure they'll get kicked out. Fine. It's okay. So would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? I guess so. All right, thanks for your support. Bye. Take care. You're in here even more than I am. And I thought my life sucked. <laughs> this goes to show you, it's always darker on the other side of the fence. I guess so. Early to bed, early to rise. Oh, hey. Are all young people ill-bred these days? No. Uh, do you know much about what's in the basement? What do you take me for? Some greasy engineer? All I know is that's where they make the electricity. Why don't you go bother Gustavo? I'm sure he can handle whatever it is you need in the basement. Right. Uh, hey. You may speak to me. And please, don't be tedious. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? My neighbors might be out of their minds, but I am not. Those ghouls will not be living here. What if all your other neighbors agree? Ha! I know everything about my neighbors. Some things they don't even know themselves. I'm certain that they won't agree to this ridiculous idea. And even if they did, I certainly won't. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Let's see if your husband is any... I remember to you. To what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, you ever been to the basement? Why would I ever go to the basement? Talk to Gustavo about such nonsense. Mm-hmm. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I know you've been pressuring people into allowing ghouls to live here. Who do you think you are, harassing honest people like that? You should be ashamed of yourself. I certainly won't allow ghouls to live here. What if all your other neighbors agree? Don't care. The only way those ghouls are getting in is over my dead body. That can be arranged. Bye. Goodbye. <sighs> Hello? What assholes. Hey, I need Hello. to talk to you. Yeah? Do you know anything about the basement and emergency tunnels? Uh-huh. 
So you've been exploring the tower. Well done. Let's just say that Gustavo's not the only one with a key for the generator room. Uh, you want Gustavo to catch you with that? Better let me hold on to it. That's awfully brash of you. You think you got what it takes? The trick to exploring is to make sure no one knows you've done it. My neighbors, for instance, have no idea that I know so much about them. I'll make you a deal, kid. You can borrow my key if you can find it without letting me see you take it. Good luck. <sighs> I don't want to play games. Can I please just borrow the damn key? Bah! I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine. But you better not get caught with that. All right, thanks. <sighs> Look, I found Argyle. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? Argyle? You... you're sure? My God. I always thought he'd outlive me by at least a hundred years. Poor bastard. But thank you. Thank you for telling me. At least now I know. At least now the poor guy can catch a breather. I'd like to return your kindness. Here, take this key. It unlocks my safe. Lots of stuff in there I'll never use again. My adventuring days are over. He could have outlived you by a hundred years if he didn't have to save your ass all the time. What, did you just leave him there to die and never look back? How could you have never been back to Rockopolis just to check? You've been living up in this bougie apartment this whole damn time. <sighs> anyway, I gotta ask, how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Well, I wouldn't mind, but they'd better be civilized. The tenants here are real uppity, and most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. Oh, so you wouldn't mind if some civilized ghouls moved in? What? Not some brash ones that save your ass by punching crap all the time? Is that the distinction we're making? Like I said, it's fine by me. <sighs> Alright, tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind gold neighbors, okay? Of course! I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Now there's an interesting vacation destination. <sighs> Bye. Go make a name for yourself. Let's see what he has in his safe. Hmm. Some useful stuff. <sighs> 